Tragedies happen every year in recreational spots within blue hole diving sites. In this video from Ocean Explorers, we dive deep to answer why these tragedies occur in blue holes and why they can be dangerous for divers. Hit the like button and let's get started! Diving into blue holes can feel like stepping into a whimsical dream, surrounded by all the underwater beauty, vibrant fish in multiple colors, stunning coral reefs, light dancing on rocks and algae, and unique sounds that can only be heard there. It's a place you want to be part of, that you never want to leave, as you crave to explore more of this underwater space that gives you a sense of belonging. But this beautiful dream of diving into blue holes can turn into a nightmare you desperately want to escape from, yearning for a fresh gulp of oxygen before the cold abyss envelopes you and pulls you into the clutches of death. Firstly, let's quickly understand what a blue hole is. A blue hole is a large underwater cavern or sinkhole that opens to the surface, typically found in areas with carbonate rock like limestone or coral reefs. These formations occur when rainwater dissolves the carbonate rock over time, causing the ground to collapse and create a sinkhole. Blue holes are mainly found in shallow coastal areas and on limestone platforms. They can vary greatly in depth with some, such as the Great Blue Hole in Belize, reaching depths of over 400 feet. The water conditions inside blue holes often involve poor circulation, particularly at greater depths, leading to low oxygen levels and a buildup of toxic hydrogen sulfate gas. While the deeper regions of blue holes may lack life, the shallower areas are often teeming with marine biodiversity, creating a stark contrast between the deep, dark blue water and the lighter blue of the surrounding shallows. Finding a spot with low marine currents can feel like an extraordinary experience, as being in a natural aquarium. However, it's also a place where you can easily lose yourself, driven by euphoria forever. One of the causes of tragedies in blue holes is nitrogen narcosis. The deeper you descend, the higher the pressure. This can affect your brain chemistry, causing nitrogen narcosis, a condition similar to being intoxicated underwater. You might feel euphoric, lose coordination and make poor decisions. In a blue hole with extreme depth changes, narcosis can quickly lead to fatal accidents. As early as 1826, divers noticed that deep dives often led to feelings of intoxication and euphoria. In 1935, Albert Benke identified nitrogen as the cause and named it nitrogen narcosis. This condition induces euphoria a false sense of security and impaired judgment when diving below depths of 99 to 132 feet using compressed air, potentially resulting in unconsciousness at even greater depths. Now, is your ego larger than a blue hole? Another potentially fatal cause is ego. You may have heard stories and warnings, but somehow you might think you're special, as if you had the situation under your control possibly feeling invincible in the depths. Remember, respect the place. You're just a visitor of the blue hole, merely an observer of something magnificent, nothing more. Don't venture too deep too soon. Know your limits and accept them. Some people dedicate their entire lives to diving, yet unforeseen circumstances always arise. In a video by Monty Halls, which I recommend watching, he analyzed the plaques listing the names of those who lost their lives at the Dehab Blue Hole in Egypt. Most were aged between 24 and 34, an age where testosterone and ego don't mix well when preparing for blue hole dives. In the same video by Monty Halls, the instructor points out that many want to dive deep without deep knowledge. It's crucial to keep this in mind. Perhaps you're on vacation and want to visit a blue hole. But don't forget to thoroughly research the area you intend to explore and the challenges you may face there. For example, blue holes often contain stagnant water, especially at the bottom, which means less oxygen for divers. Combined with the stress during deep dives, this can cause divers to deplete their air supply much faster than anticipated. Additionally, murky water can reduce visibility, making navigation difficult and emergencies even more perilous. Above all, 
Listen carefully to your instructor. Communication underwater is challenging, and technical equipment issues can arise at any moment. So stay calm and don't exceed your limits. Making it safely back to the surface is equally important. Alright, ocean adventurers, that concludes our exploration of the dangers awaiting in the blue holes. These sinkholes are stunning, but you have to explore them with caution and get back up safely. The good news is, with proper training and a skilled team, you can safely navigate these caverns. So to all you daring divers out there, keep exploring, keep learning and stay safe. For now, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next aquatic adventure. And let me know in the comments below, what other underwater mysteries would you like to explore? Thanks for joining me and stay safe!